Hello Scott, on this video I'm going to show you how to reseat the cables from the ECG module and from the PCO module. We're looking at the 7500, Sonos 7500 system. The way, the way to do that is you need to have two type of screwdrivers, the hex screwdriver and flat screwdriver flat screwdriver the ECG module is at the bottom of the user interface the left side right here and the PSU board where the ECG uh, module is connected is at the bottom inside the uh, user interface in order to do that you need first of all you need to turn up the machine and unplug the power cable from the wall. There are two screws at the bottom of the keyboard right here and right there. You will need your flat screwdriver to remove it. You you're actually you actually need to loosen it up not not removing it totally. Just like that. And also let's remove or loosen up the second screw. Once you loosen up the two screws, you will need your two hands to, uh, to open up the keyboard. The way to do that is by pulling the keyboard towards you just like that. Now we're looking inside the system uh, user interface module. This is this board is the PCU board. What I would like you to do is receive the cables that goes from the PCU board to the ECG module. So you need to receive this cable. Also this one. This one. this one and after you do that you can close the keyboard I'm gonna close it using my one hand usually you need to use both hands to do that once you close the system, you can power on the machine and test your ECG um, cable, if it is working or not. Uh, if it is not working, what you can do is uh, remove this cable, remove this cable, remove this cable. Remove the PCU board. PCU boards. Be careful not to damage the components of the board. You can easily slide this board. You can easily remove the PCU board. I'm using one hand. One hand. And that's why it's a little bit, uh, a little bit difficult. But if you're using two hands, it's easy. You can also reset, reset the cable from inside, right here. 
can remove this cable this you can slide it out and push it in same thing with this but you can actually remove the whole ECG module by removing the screws uh, in front of it and then after that close uh, after that you put back the board the PC board Once you close it, you can now test your ECG cable by turning on the machine and test your uh, ECG functionality.